Welcome back to Good Morning Waverly. Now last week the Waverly Shell Rock boys basketball team was crowned 3A state champions. The Gohawks took down Harlan by a score of 48-41. to Joining me now is head coach Nate Stagey and point guard for the Gohawks, Dan Stensland. Thanks for joining us, guys. Thank you. Now first, after starting the season three and four, you never lost another game. So what kind of led to that turnaround? Well, I think the biggest thing is uh, we weren't playing extremely well before Christmas and we, we had some meetings and we sat down with the players and, and actually the captains, Dan's one of the captains, they held their own meeting and, and we set forth uh, some things that had to change and some things that the guys needed to do better and uh, they totally bought into what we were doing and, and I think that was definitely a result of uh, the season, the way it ended was the result of those, those meetings. Okay. Now Class 3A seemed to be extremely wide open this year with no clear favorites. So what was your mindset going into the state tournament? I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> um, well, basically, since there wasn't a heavy favor or anything, we, I mean, obviously we went in with high expectations as a team, and but we also knew that we were going to have to play some tough teams that all played pretty good schedules this year. And um, playing Mount Pleasant, the defending state champions, right off the bat was kind of hard because, you know, they've been there and they've tasted victory down there. but. We went in with a lot of, I should say, confidence, and you know we fought hard to the end of it, and we had to play hard in every game, and we just couldn't give up, and it was just a fun time down there. All right, now continuing with that, you were the number two seed at state last year, and I got ups out in the first round. So did that experience kind of help you prepare for this year? Definitely. I, you know, the last the last two seasons we uh, were so close to getting that getting the title, and. Uh, just having the bitter taste in your mouth just kind of brings out like the best in you in you in the weight room and like you always just you want to get up in the mornings and just work hard and it just it helps you a lot and especially coming down this season you just, you just want to get it and keep fighting and you know that's what we did and we finally got it so all right now heading to the actual tournament how much pressure was there in that first game against Mount Pleasant when it went into overtime um you know there probably felt like there was a lot of pressure, like everybody thought there was, but, you know, we've been down there before, and it wasn't, I mean, I didn't feel, the, feel that much pressure, especially, you know, when their best player fouls out, and you, you have a guy like Clint Carlson on the floor, who, you know, he's the leader, he's a big guy, he's just, you know, a great guy, so you can just, I mean, I didn't really feel that much pressure, especially because we've been in, that, in those situations before, and we've been down there before, so, you know, we just kept, played it like another game and ended up on top. All right, and you mentioned Carlson there. Now, when Harlan went to the triangle and two defense against him and Jake, did you en and you ended up leading the team with 14 points. So how much did you feel you had to step up there? Well, we just, I didn't feel like I, I really needed to step up. I just, that's just the shots that came in our offense and they gave me them, so I took them. But, you know, credit Clint to all the, Clint, I think, gave me the screens on every single one of my pull-ups. And he knew that I was on. And if he, I wouldn't have been on, he wouldn't have gave me the screens. But, <laughs> um he, he was the one who set it up for me, and then there was a couple times where I'd come off the screen and the, the guy that Jake was guarding would guard me, and I'd flip it to Jake, and he did his three, and then Jake got rolling, and then Clint ended up coming up big in the end of the game and having some uh, hard, hard fought, I should say, layups. He didn't get, really get anything that game, but as a, as a team, we played very well, and defensively, we played amazing, so it really helped us out there. All right, and Coach, did you expect Dan to step up like he did there? Well, yeah, I mean, Dan stepped up for us all year, and, and Jake and, and Clint have both received a lot of attention from the other team's best players, and, and in order for us to have the success that we've had, and especially down at the state tournament, uh, you know, I, I knew Dan would, would have to step up and make some plays for us, and not only did he make some shots, uh, he made crucial free throws in, in all three of our games, and to know your point guard uh, is a guy who has the ball in his hands all the time and he has that ability to step up on the big stage and make big shots and make free throws. I was really proud of him. All right, well thank you both so much for joining us and congratulations on your win. Thank you. Right, thank you.